analysts forecast that as COVID-19 limitations loosen, China would surpass its record for crude oil imports in 2024 as a result of increased fuel demand from increased travel. The addition of new refineries also contributes to this rise. China's robust demand will strengthen the oil market, which is already rising due to OPEC plus output cutbacks and Western sanctions against Russian supplies. According to industry estimates, China may import between 500,000 and 1 million barrels of crude oil per day more this year. It might potentially surpass 11.8 million barrels per day at its peak. This would surpass the record of 10.8 million barrels per day set last year and reverse the decrease of the preceding two years. These estimates are also supported by Wood Mackenzie, Energy Aspects, and the International Energy Agency. China's zero COVID regulations have been abandoned, which has caused a global buying frenzy as the country's economy quickly improves. This is thought to be a key factor for 2024 crude oil bullishness. Ten supertankers have been rented by China's Unipec and PetroChina this month to bring U.S. crude oil back to Asia. According to Bloomberg, this has been revealed by those who have first-hand knowledge of the situation. Sinopec, the state-owned refiner, owns Unipec, the largest oil dealer in China. China's largest producer and distributor of gas and oil is PetroChina. Up to 2 million barrels of crude oil can be transported by vessels. Additionally, the tankers will be loaded at U.S. Gulf Coast facilities. Lead oil analyst at Plur, Victor Katona, reports that Chinese buyers are keen to buy U.S. barrels. Demand for this activity is now very strong. Chinese businesses are currently gaining from the profitable advantage that U.S. oil has. This is because low prices were caused by President Biden's large-scale withdrawal of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. December marked the beginning of China's global oil buying binge, as Unipec announced plans to buy 18 cargoes of Upper Zakam crude from Abu Dhabi. The demand for oil has increased as a result of China's economy opening up again. In addition, traders are keeping a careful eye on Chinese oil consumption in order to forecast the future course of benchmark Brent futures. 14 big oil tankers, or twice as many as in past years, are scheduled to load from the U.S. Gulf Coast to China in March, according to data and analytics firm Pler. An increase in the need for aviation fuel and the reopening of China are expected to drive up oil demand globally this year, according to Aramco, an oil firm based in Saudi Arabia. PetroChina and Sinopec are taking advantage of the low prices to buy Russian Urals. Reporters also stated that they purchase things outside of the U.S. and Abu Dhabi. Additionally, many analysts believe that in 2024, China will surpass its previous record for imports of crude oil. Furthermore, China is getting ready to import a record amount of crude oil. According to Energy Aspects analyst Sun Jianan, the primary drivers of the growth in liquid fuel consumption would be gasoline and jet fuel, which will make up roughly 50% and 30% of the total. By the end of 2024, jet fuel consumption is predicted by Sun to have returned to 90% of pre-COVID levels. On the other hand, FGE and Sun analyst Mia Gang of Energy Aspects speculates that the growth rate of the diesel market might be slower. This is due to the fact that China's industrial and real estate industries will require more time to fully recover. Sand Global Commodity Insight analyst Wang Zhuvai predicts that increased infrastructure and economic stimulus would lead to a robust rebound in diesel demand in 2024. According to the four consultancies, Chinese refineries will boost their crude throughput by 6% to 9% in comparison to 2023 levels. This is a result of rising local consumption and lucrative export markets to serve. China's refineries experienced their first capacity decline since 2001 in 2022. According to Long Zhang, a Chinese consultancy firm, state-owned refineries are producing 5.5% more in the first week of January than they did in December. As of right now, they are using 74.5% of their typical capacity. According to a Beijing-based state oil official, they are working hard to maximize December and January. And this is because of higher profits brought about by cheaper crude oil prices as well as a spike in gasoline sales. Unipec is also purchasing a significant amount of Abu Dhabi Upper Zakam crude. December has seen at least 8.5 million barrels purchased, and this is just the second month of their rampage. Refineries are expected to boost output in order to keep profitable exports and satisfy the growing demand, according to analysts. Additionally, this will increase the petrochemical industry's supply of raw materials. Two new refineries with a combined capacity of 520,000 barrels per day are expected, according to industry sources. Furthermore, in the next several months, Jiangsu Shengong Petrochemical and PetroChina's Guangdong Petrochemical will start doing business. Construction is underway on a new 400,000 barrels per day factory by Shandong Yulong Petrochemical. Additionally, by the end of 2024, they may import crude oil for possible test runs, according to a corporate source. 
Even with these encouraging signs, economists continue to advise caution when making demand projections. A Woodmac analyst named Lin Yishan claims that more people are saving money as a result of the pandemic. However, they may continue to have doubts about the economy, particularly in the near run. In addition, there are other issues to take into account, such as a sluggish global economy that can harm China's export sector. To make matters worse, there's a chance that COVID-19 outbreaks could recur and uncertainty surrounding China's fuel export regulations. Now, despite rising crude oil reserves in the US, oil prices are rising as a result of China's economic recovery. On January 2, early Asian trade saw a little increase in oil prices. This is a result of China's robust economic recovery, which makes it the world's biggest importer of oil. Despite the fact that US crude inventories are rising, the good news coming from China is calming those concerns. US West Texas intermediate crude prices have increased by $0.07 cents to $77.76 a barrel, while Brent oil futures have gained $0.12 cents to $84.43 a barrel. When fresh information surfaced showing that China's manufacturing activity surged to its greatest level in more than a decade in January, both contracts saw a roughly 1% increase. This strengthens the mounting evidence that the economy is recovering following the lifting of the severe COVID-19 restrictions. Regretfully, nonetheless, the ninth week of U.S. crude oil stock rises held back the market despite these gains. The U.S. has 480.2 million barrels of petroleum in stock last week, up 1.2 million barrels according to the Energy Information Administration. Since May 2022, this is the highest level. It increased by significantly greater than the 500,000 barrels that analysts had predicted. Nevertheless, U.S. crude oil exports were at a record high, which contributed to the build being less than it has been in prior weeks. U.S. petroleum stockpiles have increased, although at a slower rate than in the previous five years, according to city analysts. This is a result of the gross exports reaching all-time highs. However, according to preliminary government data, Indian refiners processed a record amount of crude oil in January. The nation started importing more Russian barrels, which the West refused to accept. Furthermore, the amount of refinery output in December was 5.39 million barrels per day, the highest since 2009. Iran has been reserving some supply of its oil for its main consumer, China, in an effort to get better prices for it, according to Reuters on Friday, which cited sources from refineries and traders. China has kept purchasing cheaper Iranian oil even after the United States reinstated sanctions against the country's energy in 2018. However, it is now said that Iran is looking for smaller Brent discounts in exchange for supplying China with crude, which has resulted in a stalemate between Iran and its Chinese clients. Trading sources who handle the petroleum have told Reuters that Iran has requested discounts of $5 to $6 per barrel for its light crude for December and January compared to dated Brent. The agreements for December and January were reached in November, at discounts to Brent of about $10 per barrel. A trading executive based in China told Reuters that it's unclear whether the Chinese refiners will accept the increased price. According to trading sources who spoke with Reuters in late December, at least one independent refiner with headquarters in Shandong accepted the higher pricing and purchased a cargo at the smaller discounts. A Chinese customer from Shandong said, the buyers are still struggling to find a solution as the new prices are too high. However, the Iranian side is extremely tough, so they have few options, making price discussions difficult and not in the Chinese customers' best interests. Increased costs for Iranian petroleum would put pressure on the profit margins of independent refiners, which have continued to purchase Iranian supplies even after the US reimposed sanctions. Furthermore, the world's largest crude oil importer, which is saving billions of US dollars by buying sanctioned oil, may find it harder to get cheap crude supply as a result of Iran's rising crude costs for Chinese consumers. According to a Reuters investigation last year, China was expected to have saved $10 billion on crude oil imports between January and September 2023 as it imported record levels of cheaper oil from Venezuela, Iran, and Russia, all three countries subject to Western and US sanctions. What are your thoughts on China's recent oil buying? Let me know down below. If you want to continue to learn about business investing and financial education, we have got this video waiting on the screen for you to check out. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.